Age and vector autoregressions have become a staple of modern macroeconomic analysis, offering powerful forecasting and nowcasting capabilities that cannot be matched by classical VARs. Bayesian VARs have been available in eViews for a number of versions, but given their popularity, we have completely reworked this feature for eViews 11, offering a number of new options and functionality. In particular, eViews now offers a choice of priors of Litterman, Minnesota, Normal Flat, Normal Wishart, Independent Normal Wishart, Simjar, or Gioni Lenza Primicherry GLP priors. All priors allow options for a choice of initial covariance matrix calculation and for the inclusion of the dummy observation priors. Along with the new calculation options, EViews 11 also offers Bayesian sampling for forecasting from BVARs as well as impulse response calculations. To demonstrate, we'll estimate some BVARs using US macroeconomic data made available by Stock and Watson 2008. We have quarterly GDP, the GDP deflator, consumption, investment, work hours, wages, and the federal funds rate between 1959 and 2006. We can estimate a Bayesian bar with these variables by selecting them in the work file, then right-clicking and selecting Open as VAR. We first change the VAR type to Bayesian VAR, and for our example, we will estimate with five lags. The prior type tab of the dialog lets us specify the prior we will use. To begin, we will estimate with the original Litterman prior, leaving all options at their default values. The hyperparameters tab allows us to change the value of the hyperparameters in the prior. We'll change mu1, which is the hyperparameter associated with the variable's own lag mean prior, to a value of 0 and the variance hyperparameter associated with exogenous variables to 10. Clicking OK produces the results of the BVAR. Since the Litterman prior is an analytical prior with closed form solution, the results are produced instantly. We can see the posterior mean estimates of the coefficients along with their associated posterior standard deviations in parentheses. At the bottom of the output, we can see some standard classical summary statistics, such as R-squared and F-statistic. Note these are reported purely for comparison purposes and have no true Bayesian meaning. Below the statistics, we can see the reported Bayesian marginal log likelihood. If we want to see the residual covariance matrix, we can click on View Residuals, and then select either the empirical residual covariance that is the covariance matrix of residuals calculated from the posterior mean of the coefficients, or the estimated posterior residual covariance. As a second example, we'll estimate a slightly smaller VAR using just GDP, the GDP deflator, and the federal funds rate, again using five lags. This time we switch the prior type to the independent normal Wishart prior, and again we change the mu1 hyperparameter. This prior has no closed form solution, so eViews uses a GIB sampler to draw from the posterior distributions. The options tab of the dialog allows us to set the number of draws from the sampler, as well as a burning percentage and random number seed. We'll leave the values at their defaults, which means we'll do 100,000 draws. Drawing from the posteriors with the GIB sampler takes a few moments. Again, the output provides the posterior mean and standard deviation of the coefficients, as well as some summary statistics at the bottom. If we wish to see individual draws from the posteriors, we can use PROC Draw from Coefficient Posterior to rerun the GIB sampler and store the results. As a third example, we'll estimate a new VAR using the GLP prior, again using GDP, the GDP deflator, and the federal funds rate. This time we'll add both initial dummy observation priors. The GLP prior can treat hyperparameters as parameters to be estimated as part of the overall estimation process, 
using a likelihood maximization approach. Consequently, the hyperparameters page now offers the option to optimize the hyperparameters or keep them fixed. We'll go with the default settings. The estimation output follows the same pattern as our previous two estimations, but note that the estimated hyperparameters are reported in the upper section. One of the new features added to eViews 11 is the availability of both impulse responses and forecasting from Bayesian VARs using sampling. We'll demonstrate forecasting from our VAR estimated with the GLP prior. Clicking the forecast button brings up the VAR forecast dialog. We can choose whether we want to use classical forecasting, which just takes the posterior means of the coefficients and uses them to forecast in the classical manner, or we can perform Bayesian sampling, which in the case of the GLP prior means using a Metropolis Hastings sampler. By default, EVs will produce only the mean or median of the forecast draws. You can optionally instruct EVs to save all of the draws in a separate work file page, or produce graphs of the full distribution of the draws as either per observation distributions or as a fan chart. We'll look at the distributional graphs from our GLP prior. You can see for each time period of the forecast, we have a distribution of the forecast values of, for each variable. Using our previous Litterman prior, we'll take a look at some fan chart output. The blue line represents the true values, the red line the median value, and then fans of quantiles.